Learn along with me. Hello friends, my name is Ritu Sachdev. In this tutorial, I am gonna tell you containers classes of bootstrap. See, whatever elements you have in your web page, you keep inside a container. So, in this tutorial, I will discuss the classes regarding that. The first class is fixed width container. It has a fixed width. And the class is container. And the second one is full width. It contains the 100% space of your device. The class is container fluid. Let's see in detail how it works. Guys, here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. You can use any code editor. I have already saved up my document in a local folder. In the head section, I am having this junk of code that I am just calling here bootstrap files, bootstrap min.css and min.js and these all are the CD and you can get all these files through getbootstrap.com. If you want to know more about this, simply you can watch my earlier tutorial. Here you have installing bootstrap 4 in your web pages. Right? In that way, you can install bootstrap in your document. Now, let me get rid of this. Now guys, uh, I'm gonna tell you classes for the container. Right? So, for the container class, let me have a div with a class of container. A predefined class in a bootstrap. Right? Let's close this div here. Now, let me have some dummy content here. Here I go. Right? And it thinks to be much clear, let me have some background clear color here. Multiple classes guys here. BG. Right? Danger. Danger will give us some red kind of color. Let's save it up. Now let's preview this. See here we go. Now you can see whatever the text I have, I have inside a container. Right? It's a fixed width. We have this container in the cent center. Now, let me show you first the class full width container. Then we will discuss more about it. L let's again go to our code editor. Let me have one line break here. Again, this copy and paste it up here. Now, let's change the class simply guys here. Div with the class of container fluid. Here we go. Now it will take the 100% width of the document. See. Here we go. Let's have background color again. So this time BG success. Right? A green color is there in the background. You see we have a full width container here. Now when I will collapse my browser window You see, both will be the full width. You see, it will be the full width. And the container class is a fixed width. Right? As much as I collapse. Now, now in this breakpoint, the viewport is like this. Now let me explain this container class to you from the w3schools.com. Right? Here we have w3schools.com and here we have tutorial for the bootstrap 4 tutorial and BS4 container. 
c dot container class provides a responsive fixed width container that's what we have it here it's a fixed width container and dot container fluid class provides a full width container spanning the entire width of the viewport here we have dot container fluid right here you go dot container fluid now for the fixed width you see use dot container class to create a responsive fixed width container and it uses a max width and that changes with the different screen size for extra small devices it's smaller than 576 px for smaller it's greater than or equal to 576 medium greater than or equal to 768 px for large you see greater than or equal to 992 pixels 992 pixels and for the extra large you see greater than or equal to 1200 pixels and these are the max width for this device it has 100% you see when we collapse it here we have 100% for the extra small one and for the smaller one we have 540 pixels when i see drag it here you see when i you see here 540 pixels right for the smaller screen now now for the medium for it's 720 pixels right for the large 960 pixels for the extra large 1140 pixels right these are the different break points i hope container class is clear to you so this is done friends if you like this video of mine do thumbs it up do not forget to subscribe me and do hit the bell icon and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me have a good day bye bye